Hi, in this Lightboard session we're going to talk about how Mule 4 manages the class loader isolation between modules and connectors. Now a class loader in JVM terms is how you find the class definitions for the objects that you want to create. Now when you have a connector or a module, it needs certain libraries and certain dependencies, as well as its own classes. Now the underlying mechanism for a finding a module or a connector is that you need to get that included as a dependency. Now that dependency is on a jar, which includes all of the dependencies and the code that make up the connector or the module. So if you think about when you're writing some, some typical Java code and you're dependent on a third party library, you're gonna need other things in your class loader to be able to do what you need to do. So these would be external libraries. And you may have many of these, all right, many of these, and they are included so that you can create objects of those types, make calls on the functionality. Now, your module and connector, you have to adhere to certain class structure and certain archive structure for Mule to be able to cope with it, but it still needs Java to do its job. Now, once you've loaded that into your project, there will be certain classes that you may need to work with. You may need to create certain objects, and those need to be explicitly exported. Okay, now that's those, those packages are going to be something that the rest of the application can see. Okay, so that whatever this list is of extra things, that needs to be visible. So to address the isolation between this, plus the need to allow exported classes or packages to be visible, is that there are different types of class loader. So as far as the module and connector, it has its own class loader, which sees everything. So it sees the libraries plus any of the internal stuff. So it sees all, and it's used by any code within that, within that connector or that module. Now, as far as your application is concerned, the application doesn't want to see all of that, and nor does it want to have you picking the version of a library that you're going to see. Okay, so there is another class loader, and this one is a filtering one. And this one's used by the application. So when you're writing your application code, you've got your app, and the app code will see the filtering class loader. Now it takes whatever you've exported and makes that available and shows whatever the application, because the application's gonna have its own libraries as part of it. So it doesn't see all of the internal workings though. And any of the external libraries that you have that are specific to this, those are not made available through that filtering class loader. So that's how you get the application able to see some important things that you've decided need to be exported. Now the person building that module or connector, they decide what goes into that list. So he or she would put the list of the packages and the underlying filtering class loader will use that, plus whatever you've defined in your application and only make those available. And that's how we get our isolation between each connector and module. Now, the alternatives, you could have all of this stuff pre-baked in and visible by everyone. Now the downside to that is that if you didn't have this isolation, you could find that you need to upgrade all of the connectors or modules that need a particular shared library. And that's not ideal because you don't get to do things in smaller chunks. We've learned that doing big bang approaches over time, they get a bit problematic. So trying to keep everything isolated does mean that you could potentially have the same library but different versions because you've got different modules having their own version. So overall, you may find that the archive size gets much bigger because you are containing all of the stuff that each of them needs, and that could result in some essentially duplication. But we think that longer term, maintenance is gonna be much easier, upgrades should be easier because you can do them in a more fine-grained fashion. And that explains the class loader isolation of a module or a connector.